and welcome to the second episode on a curving plane and this week I'll be showing you how to make the accessory fence that you can see I've got fitted on the plane we made last time. Uh, I'll show you first of all how I made that accessory fence and then I'll show you some ways in which the curving plane can be used.
So with the fence now fitted, what can we do using that? Well, obviously that's going to set the saw blade off away from the fence, whatever distance you set it. And that means you can do parallel cuts from the edge of a piece of wood. Now that might be across the grain or it might be with the grain. Uh, on this piece of wood here, for example, I've set my fence up and you do that and check it with uh, a ruler, make sure it's parallel to the blade. So the fence rides against the edge of the board and the plane rides where you want to cut it. Like so. You can also reference off the end of a board if we want to cut a dado for example or maybe a half lap. Now I've designed the accessory fence to fit on either side of the plane so you've got up to roughly six inches um, that you can set the plane away from the edge of a piece of wood from either side so you can be cutting this direction or you can set the fence on the other side and cut as though it was coming from this side of the wood that makes it quite versatile and also we, we can reverse the saw plate if we want to cut in the opposite direction and so it's left or right handed it can also be used to um, resaw a piece of wood so we can set our fence so that we're cutting the width of the wood we want to cut like so just double check again that we're parallel and we can use that to cut a kerf in like so and we can cut that also on the end if we want to and we can cut it on the other side and then that makes tracking of a saw through that when we're ripping it a lot easier it's very easy to, to track that saw down the kerf on this side across the end and down the other side so the fence very useful for making parallel cuts to the edges or ends of a board now with the fence removed we can use the saw freehand, cutting wherever we like, but uh, usually it's much easier to use it with some sort of fence system. So a large square like this, for example, will allow me to cut across, just following the body of the saw against the square, like so. For longer cuts, we can do parallel cuts by clamping a long fence on and sawing like so and where this really comes into its own is when you're doing non-parallel cuts because obviously you can't use the accessory fence for those circumstances so you can clamp this on in any position you like to get any angle at all and just run the saw against that as a fence another interesting thing you can do with this um, is to use a angled block it's got a slope here of about one in six so I can lean the saw over from the vertical like so, use that as its fence, cut through. That'll give me an undercut to your uh, left hand side. And I can switch the block around the other way, clamp it on, cut through again. That gives an undercut to your right hand side, remove the material in between and I get a lovely dovetail housing. So I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. The saw in itself is, is wonderful and really useful addition to the workshop. Add to that the uh, auxiliary fence system. That is wonderful for doing anything that's a, a parallel cut to an edge. And I'm gonna be using this in some of my future projects and I'll let you know how I get on with it. But so far it's been working really well. A set of plans is available, initially free for a week after the video posts, and then for a donation of your own choice. Just follow the links. I've had some comments on the saw plate and preparation of that. 
and one comment was saying could I put a, a curve in it like so a bit more like um, this, the floorboard saws uh, that you certainly get that may may help may make it a bit easier to use for um, for cutting I don't know not quite sure uh, also that maybe we could have some deeper gullets to remove the sawdust when you're making really long cuts there's a chance of collecting a lot more sawdust in a cut so putting deeper gullets would help clear that or putting some raker teeth in every so often so plenty of things to have a look at over time but at the moment it seems to be working plenty fine enough so anyway I hope you've enjoyed these two videos and if you do please like share and subscribe and leave a comment underneath Thanks very much. Cheerio.